impossible. I can't carry any more. Jungles hide so many places. Who Even my ruins. Who's that? Who's there? She's the one who found the treasure. Is that right, Diego? Well, well, what can I do for you? I overheard you telling the children about Maya ruins. Finally, someone who pays attention. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ha! I knew it, I knew it. No one ever listens to old Manu, but I was right. <sighs> so you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. I recognize something in your voice. The thrill of discovery, of finding something, some place unseen for hundreds or even thousands of years. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. The taste of stale, dusty air still gets my heart racing. These modern people, these so-called realists, they close themselves off from such wondrous possibilities. They can't even imagine some of the things I've seen. Ah, <sighs> that I would give anything to see again one last time. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. You could at that, yes. Do you remember where the ruins were? Now, where were they? I remember a pool fed by three waterfalls. Uh, I wish I could give you better directions, but it's been so many years. I should be able to find it. And when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, if you could do that for me. Touch that, that history. I would... I would be so... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. I hope you've shined up those dancing shoes, Manu. I found the ruin. It was Maya, an ancient aqueduct. It was wonderful, just as you'd imagined. I knew you would! Now, tell me everything. The ruins had flooded because of the earthquake. I swam through tunnels teeming with peril. Go on. I found a vast cavern and a stone tower with massive heads carved into its sides. The Lords of Shibalba, right? Incredible. What else? It must have been an aqueduct of some kind. And you'll never believe this. Most of the machinery is still functional. Water wheels three men high turned as smoothly as the day they were built. It was amazing to see Manu. To be so close to all that history where no one has set foot in hundreds of years. <laughs> I see it. I can smell it, feel it, taste it. You, you've brought tears to an old man's dry eyes. I, I can't thank you enough. I, I'd like to give you something. Manu, I, I couldn't. Please, I insist. It's the first relic I ever found. It's beautiful and intricate. A decorated skull. I'd like someone who has the same passion for exploring that I did as a young man to have it. Don't ever let anything kill your sense of curiosity and wonder. I won't. Thank you, Manu. An adhesive made of tree sap and powdered bone hold the jade and other gems in place within the wearer's teeth. A crude drill, perhaps made of obsidian, would have been used to delicately carve out the notches required to hold the jewelry in place. All full up. Can't carry any more.
Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. Twenty-fifth of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. A heron and an eclipse. his wings you may seek refuge under his wings Twenty-sixth of December, 1603. 
Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient, We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Tardaremos eternidades. ¿Cuántos años? Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the dolorous path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. Paso a la vez. Un día a la vez. Como si tuviéramos elección. There's a whole mural under here. <clears throat> Veracruz, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. 
Jesus takes up the cross. These are just stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the boss, how do we get the key back from the big guys? We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. Have to use the There's light beam to follow the stations of the cross. Adulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. Behind a cross somewhere. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Hey, it worked! The light leads this way. The light activated something. Laura! Are you alright? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frascos. Have to use a light beam to follow the stations of the cross. These people look like they were tortured. I'm not gonna see them. I don't think this was just a crypt. I'll get it. Sick. This must be Station 6.
Looks like a church. These ones are close like monks. Uh-huh. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with mummies? I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. I guess this is a sec from the path. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around. Use the Lopez light beam to follow the stations of the cross. That inscription. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. It's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. That's the first step in the crucifixion. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. Lopez staged the whole crucifixion. With mummies? Seems sacrilegious. Let me think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is the sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. She's wiping his face, I think. They're carrying him. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't allowed to He's that. carrying the cross. I think he's taking up the cross. Jesus nailed to the cross. That inscription, do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. stations of the cross. step of the crucifixion. Not sure. They're carrying him. She's wiping his face, I think.
brother. Strange there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother, then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time, then he is crucified. Strange there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Strange there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother, then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time, then he is crucified and finally entombed. He's carrying the cross. He's carrying the cross. Yeah. Uh. 